Hello, today I'm going to review the Hunt Ultrasonic Pest Repellent uh, Electronic Device. This device is used to keep vermin or pests from an area where you don't want them for various reasons. Um, in my case, I have it tied around this oak tree because I am trying to protect this tent from animal damage. Um, I have this tent set up permanently outside on my property. I like to sleep outside as much as possible. It's something I really enjoy doing when the weather's nice. So the problem I was having is that my tents were getting damaged from uh, animals, probably raccoons, even without food in the tent. Um, I'd come back and the tarp would be scratched up, holes in the tarp, even in the tent itself. And so I was having to replace my tent, which uh, was not fun, gets expensive. So I invested in this ultrasonic uh, pest repellent device because I was hoping it would protect my tent from damage, and so far it has. Um, it's probably been over six months since I first got this device and I haven't had any damage, whereas before, every couple months, you know, I was having damage, and I tried to keep the tent as long as I could with, you know, Gorilla Tape, but that's not fun. So, so far this has lived up to my hopes, um, so I do recommend this. Um, let's get a little bit into the features of this device so you can better understand whether it will work for your situation or not. Um, on top of the device is a little solar panel that keeps the device charged. That's pretty cool because you can just leave this outside and never have to worry about charging it. If you did have to worry about charging it, my gosh, do we not have enough to worry about charging? That'd be one extra thing to charge. This does come with a USB cable for charging purposes, but so far through winter, through summer, even under this tree, which casts quite a bit of shade, that solar panel has kept this pest repellent device working at all times. Um, on the bottom of the unit, you see this silver spike. That's a stake if you want to put the unit in the ground. I put mine up high. Um, basically because I want to get as wide a range as possible. If anything, any kind of animal comes within the range of that tent, I do want it to be scared away. So the higher you put it, the more range it's going to have. And of course, you can test it by walking around the perimeter of your area and seeing if the unit um, activates. So I do recommend putting this unit um, elevated. I feel like it's less useful on the ground with that stake. Now there's two dials on this device. Um, the first dial on the left is the sensitivity setting. The higher the number, the more um, the device is going to be sensitive to motion activation. So I think in most cases you're going to want to set that at or pretty high to the highest sensitivity rating because you're going to want anything that comes into the range of what you're trying to protect to cause motion activation. So I'm not really sure why they include so many different sensitivity ratings. Um, I recommend just going highly sensitive. And the second knob on this dial is the frequency of the ultrasonic sound um, that is emitted. Now this is a little bit confusing because the low setting, the L, is actually high frequency. The highest frequency. Okay, the M is the middle frequency and the H is actually low frequency. Uh, it's kind of a confusing way that they did this. Um, maybe you don't um, under quite understand what I'm saying. When I say low frequency, which is the H, that means the sound is lower. Okay, it's, it's a lower sound. More likely you can hear it if it's on the H. Now if it's on the M, that's a bit higher frequency, a little bit further above the human range of hearing, and the L that's actually the highest frequency. Um, that's the frequency that you are least likely to be able to hear. That's the most above the human range of hearing. Um, 
so you can see the LMH as you go clockwise on the right knob. And then you see an L+, plus, M+, plus, and an H+. Plus. The plus is um, indicates um, that the unit, when it goes off, it will flash a white light. There is a light that flashes on this. And if you want it to flash, you want to set it to one of the plus settings. That's just kind of an extra feature to help deter whatever pest you're dealing with. Now I almost always have this set to just L, um, which is, again, the highest frequency, the highest pitch sound that this unit delivers. Now depending on what you're dealing with will determine which frequency you want to set this unit at. Smaller animals are more deterred by the highest pitch, okay? So you want to put it at an L if you're dealing with mice or, you know, other small rodent-like creatures. You're going to want to put that at the L. I almost always keep it at an L because I think I'm usually dealing with raccoons or other small vermin. Um, the M would be for somewhat larger animals. You know, it's your whatever scenario you're dealing with, I don't know, uh, coyotes, wolves, um, something larger. And then the H is for the largest animals. And I never use the H because I can actually hear the H. It's within my range of hearing. And the first time I tried it, uh, I ran away. It was very loud, very unpleasant. Um, so you're probably not going to want to use the H whether you can hear it or not. It is probably within the realm of hearing um, of some people, as it is in my case. So you're going to probably going to want to stick to the L or the M. Again, the M is for larger animals, the L is for smaller animals. I don't know exactly, you know, whether coyotes can hear the L and not the M, or the M but not the L. I don't really know that. What I do know is that the L, which again is the highest pitch sound, the highest frequency, um, has kept my tent intact. So I keep it at the L. So I feel like this is a pretty useful device. It's nice because you're not using chemicals. Chemical deterrents you are going to have to reapply, um, and usually they're toxic to other animals. Um, we don't want to poison the environment. These chemical poisons will usually travel up the food chain. So this is a really um, environmentally friendly way to um, deter pests from an area. I could see this being useful in gardens. Um, I could see this being useful. You put your trash out the night before on the curb and raccoons are getting into it. If you set this device up um, next to that area, uh, I'm pretty sure it is going to make a big difference for you. So, Hopefully that answers pretty much any questions you would have about this device. Again, the most confusing thing is the frequency. You want to set it for the M if you're dealing with larger animals and the L if you're dealing with smaller animals. Um, so let's just uh, test this device so you can see it in operation. I'm going to set it to the L so it doesn't damage your hearing or mine. And then I'm going to move a little bit. And you can probably hear kind of a clicking sound and maybe a little bit of a high pitch sound. Um, that is the device registering the motion um, and going off. As you can see, just a little bit of movement sets this off. And if I were to do this next to the tent, it would also go off. I'm not going to set it to the high setting because that would be painful for me. So I'm going to turn it to the low plus so you can see the light going off even though it's daytime. See that light flashing? Just an extra deterrent. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to turn it off. It's nice that you have an off setting in case you don't want it to go off. You can turn it off without taking it out of its location. All right, I hope this helped you. Um, again, I think it's a great product. It's been working for me so far. Thank you for watching this video.